Hello, welcome to Extend Office. This video will talk about how to apply Striker through in Excel as well as some useful examples you may need. In this video, we will introduce how to apply and remove Striker through in Excel on Windows, Web, Mac. Additionally, the tutorial will include examples demonstrating the use of Striker through in Excel. This section we will introduce some methods to add and remove striker through on Windows. Method 1. Apply striker through by using shortcut. Select the cells that you want to add striker through. Then, press Ctrl and 5 keys together. Now, the cells have been crossed out at once. To remove the striker through, press Ctrl and 5 again. If you want to add striker through to part of the cell value, double click the cell and select the text you want to striker through. Then, press Ctrl and 5 keys. To remove the striker through, press Ctrl and 5 keys again. Method 2 Apply striker through by using format cells. Select the cells that you want to add striker through. Then, right click, and then choose Format Cells from the context menu. In the Format Cells dialog box, click the font tab. Then check striker through option. Click OK. Now, you can see that the selected cells have been formatted with striker through. To remove the striker through, Go to the Format Cells dialog box again. Uncheck the Striker Through option and click OK. The Striker Through will be removed at once. Method 3. Add the Striker Through icon to Quick Access Toolbar. Click on the small arrow at the end of the Quick Access Toolbar and then click More Commands. In the Excel Options dialog box, Select Commands Not in the ribbon from the Choose Commands from drop-down. Scroll through the list and select Striker Through. Then, click Add button to add Striker Through to the list of commands on the right pane. Click OK button. The Striker Through icon will now appear on your Quick Access Toolbar. Now, when you need to add Striker Through to cells, just select the cells, and then click this Striker Through icon it will strike it through the selected cells. Click the icon again to remove the striker through. Method 4. Add the striker through option to Excel ribbon. Right click anywhere on the ribbon and select customize the ribbon. In the Excel options dialog box, click the home tab. Click New Group to add a new group under the Home tab. Then click Rename button. In the Rename dialog, type a name for the new group. Click OK button. Then, select Commands not in the ribbon from the Choose Commands from section. Scroll through the list and select Striker Through. Click Add button to add Striker through to the new group on the right pane. Then, select the new group, and click the up arrow button to adjust it to the position you need. Then, click OK. Now, a new group, which includes the Striker through option, has now been added under the Home tab. To add Striker through to cells, just select the cells and click this striker through command, it will strike it through the selected cells. Click the striker through icon again to remove the striker through. This section will talk about how to add and remove striker through in Excel on web. Select the cells where you want to apply the striker through. Click striker through icon under the home tab. This will apply striker through formatting to your selected cells. Click it again to remove the striker through at once. This section will offer two simple ways for using the striker through in Excel on a Mac. 
Method 1. Apply striker through by using shortcut. Select the cells you want to apply the striker through. Then press Command Shift and X keys together. The selected cells will be crossed out at once. Press the Command Shift and X keys, again to remove the striker through as you need. Method 2. Apply striker through by using format cells. Select the cells you want to apply the striker through. Then right click, and then choose format cells from the context menu. In the format cells dialog box, under the font tab, check striker through option. Then click OK. The selected cells will be formatted with striker through instantly. To remove the striker through, you can go to the Format Cells dialog box and uncheck the Striker Through box. Click OK to close the dialog. This section delves into four practical examples where Striker Through is used, demonstrating the flexibility and utility of this feature in various scenarios. Example 1 Auto Striker Through based on cell value. You can automatically apply striker through formatting to tasks as soon as you enter a specific text, such as done in a related cell. To complete this task, the conditional formatting can do a favor. Select the data range, where you want the auto striker through to apply. Click conditional formatting under the home tab. Then, click new rule. In the new formatting rule dialog box, Click Use a formula to determine which cells to format option. Type this formula into the format values where this formula is true text box. In the formula, B2 is the cell contains the specific value, done is the text that you want to apply the striker through based on. Then, click Format button. Under the Font tab, check Striker through option. Then, click OK. OK to close the dialogs. Now, when you type the text, done, in the cells of column B, the task item will be crossed out by a striker through. Example 2, auto striker through, when checkbox is checked. Instead of typing text, using checkboxes to automatically apply striker through to tasks is also a great method for easily seeing which activities are done to finish this kind option. Please follow these steps. Step 1. Insert checkboxes. Go to the Developer tab, select Insert, and then click Checkbox from the form controls. Click on the cell where you want the checkbox to appear and draw it. Right-click the checkbox and choose Edit Text, then you can edit the checkbox to remove the text. Then, select the cell contains the checkbox, and then drag the fill handle down to fill the checkboxes. Step 2. Link the checkboxes to cells. Right-click on the first checkbox and select Format Control. In the Format Control dialog box, under the Control tab, link the checkbox to a cell right next to it. Repeat the these steps to individually link each checkbox to the cell next to it. Please note that I skipped the steps involving the middle checkboxes. You should link each checkbox to individual cells, one by one. The linked cell will show true when the checkbox is checked. Step 3. Applying Conditional Formatting Feature Select the range of tasks you want to apply striker through formatting to. Click Home. Conditional Formatting and click New Rule from the drop-down list. In the New Formatting Rule dialog box, click Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Then, type this formula into the format values where this formula is true text box. In this formula, C2 is the cell which linked to the checkbox. Click Format button. Under the Font tab, check Striker Through option. Then click OK. OK. 
Now, when you check a checkbox, the corresponding task item will automatically be formatted with a striker through, otherwise, the striker through will be removed. Example 3, double click a cell to strike it through text. Right click the sheet tab, where you want to double click to strike it through text. Then, choose view code from the context menu. In the open VBA sheet module editor, copy and paste this code into the blank module. Then, close the VBA editor window. Now, by double-clicking a cell containing text, you'll apply a striker through to its contents. Double-clicking the same cell again will remove the striker through. Example 4, apply striker through to multiple cells of the same text. Select the range of cells you want to apply striker through. Click Find and select from the Home tab. Then, click Replace. In the Find and Replace dialog box, enter the text you wish to apply striker through into the Find What field. Then, click Options to expand the dialog box. Click on the Format drop-down located in the Replace with field. Then, choose Format from the drop-down. In the Replace Format dialog box, under the Font tab, check striker through option. Click OK and then, click Replace All button. Now, all cells containing the specified text, in the selected range with a striker through. Thanks for watching, see you next time.